It smells so clean in here. Well, clean after I got my hair cut and before it grows, because my hair grows so fast and it becomes unmanageable, I figured I'd do uh, a couple of videos for you guys to have on the channel without my hat. I'll make a playlist as well for you guys to go watch my videos without the hat on. But the channel is all about the hat. Anyway, so today we have 20 top 20 uh, clean and soapy fragrances with two honorable mentions. So if you want to find out what they are, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Why don't we just get right to it, uh, but uh, before we start the fragrances, I just want to explain to you um, what are clean and uh, soapy fragrances. Well, first of all, clean and soapy fragrances are just exactly that. They are clean and they are soapy. You can have clean and soapy at the same time, but you can also have soapy and you can have uh, clean but not soapy. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but uh, most of my soapier fragrances are more towards the top, but we have several clean fragrances that are filling up the um, the top 20 from the 20 to 10. So we'll start, start off with the two honorable mentions, and the first one is a new fragrance I reviewed recently called Salado from this house, Corner Barcelona. Now the reason I find this one to be clean is because of that crisp cucumber. The cucumber is so clean and fresh, and uh, it's a very, very clean fragrance. And typically, um, it's an aquatic, but typically they use other notes besides the uh, cucumbers to create that aquatic uh, accord or feel or touch. But here they're using that very, very clean and crisp cucumber, and there's lots of salt. So this is one for you to try if you like a clean and fresh, not necessarily soapy, but very, very clean fragrance. And this is Salado from Carno Barcelona. Next, going to the House of Dunhill, and this is Century. And this one to me is very clean and woody, but it smells like freshly cleaned linens, laundry, things like that, not necessarily soapy. So you can have soapy, you can have like maybe detergent and things like that in this list. And this one to me more on the detergent rather more than detergent, but after it's been the the, the laundry, the linens have been washed with uh, the detergent, so you can have like uh, bedding and uh, you know towels and things like that. And when you smell them after they've been folded and put away, you can smell that. And that's kind of what this smells like. It's a clean fragrance. It's very clean to me, and it's it's a great release. Uh, a little underrated compared to their other fragrance, which I also find clean. I didn't put it on the list today. It is a uh, Dunhill uh, icon. So this is Dunhill Century. Second honorable mention. Now we're going to the list number 20 Hoto from Jeroboam. Now this one to me is also very laundry clean. It smells very fresh and laundry clean, but this one utilizes a very very clean tuberose note and If you watch my review for this, I mentioned it in there. It's it's got lots of white musk and a lot of these fragrances do tend to have musks in it as well clean white musks. This one has a lot of white musk um, it's because their original fragrance called Origino, which is basically the cocktail of musks, is what's in here in addition to the tuberose, and there's also pineapple. Now stay tuned for a video I shot with Dahlia. I shot that video before I'm shooting this one and airing this first before that one, where she and I kind of argue about the fact that she doesn't find this one clean and I find it clean. Anyway, it's a very uh, clean tuberose with musks. That's Hoto from Jeroboam. Next, we're going to a house called Ether, and this is Citrus Ester, this one right here. And this one is kind of sort of some of those fragrances of the eccentric molecules, the Juliet has a gun, but this one is chock full of uh, synthetic molecules that smell like citruses. That's why it's called Citrus Ester. Now, I have a review of one of their other fragrances called Rose Alcane, which I did not put on here because it's a rose fragrance, even though it's all synthetics again to create rose. Here they use the citrus. I mean, not citrus. Here they use synthetic molecules to create a citrus smell, and it's a very, very clean uh, fragrance. If you like the eccentric molecules fragrances, uh, you might check this one out. Although those are uh, those are more like uh, you know woody notes and things like that. This one is definitely citrus. So this is citrus ester from Ether. Next, we're going to the house of Juliet has a gun, and this is not a perfume. Great release from the house. This is a very, very clean, not necessarily soapy, 
Here we didn't have soapy. It's very, very clean to me. Oh, okay. I, I guess this one kind of goes soapy, but here this one doesn't really go soapy to me. It just goes very, very clean. Once again, it's clean and woody. Uh, it's ambergris or ambroxan, or it's not even ambroxan. It's a different... Um, each of those firms, like Firminich or Givaudan, has an own name for ambroxan, uh, or their own version of the uh, ambergris uh, fragrant, uh, note. And this is that, but it's ultra clean. It's very, very clean. Um, it's, it's if you want to smell clean, it's it's one of those fragrances that becomes uh, your own signature smell with your own chemistry because the synthetic molecule in here kind of blends with your chemistry. So if you like a clean, check out Not A Perfume from Juliet Has A Gun. Now we're going into the uh, eccentric molecules fragrances. Here we have uh, Molecule 4, and I have all three of those fragrances here on this list. There's four. I left off the vetiver one, number three. But this is number four. And this one actually, compared to Molecule 1 and 2, it's not as clean as those two because I can smell this one so strong compared to uh, one and two. But this one is really like my hands down my favorite of those three because I love the way it smells. But again, this is a very strong, once you, once you recognize the smell, once you get over the anosmia, this becomes very strong. So compared to the other two, number two and number one, I feel like this is the strongest. But it's also my favorite, but I put it in the bottom because I don't find it as clean and soapy as the other one. So this is Molecule 4. Check it out for a clean woody uh, fragrance that smells like sandalwood. It's very, very cr creamy. This next one is Molecule 2, from Eccentric Molecules. And here we got the Ambroxan and very sexy, clean smell. In fact, all of these um, Eccentric Molecules fragrances, minus 3, the Molecule 3 are very sexy to me. And this one is the Ambroxan. It's such great scent. These two, actually this one more than this, because this one is much stronger. This one makes a great layering, like if you layer it with something, including this one. So these two are kind of similar. They're using uh, a, synth a synthetic version of Ambergris. But this one, it's called something else, and I'm drawing a blank. But this one is definitely Ambroxan. Check it out. Um, it's great, clean, fresh. Um, awesome uh, fragrance if you like a clean and fresh. And then finally the next one is Molecule uh, 1 where I featured this in the uh, date night since I did with Shea Bella recently and this one is very clean, very very sexy. It kind of blends with uh, each person's chemistry, kind of makes its own unique uh, smell. You can still smell that kind of a sandalwood slash cedarwood kind of a combo of a smell but it's very very clean and woody. So this is Molecule 1, probably the more popular item of the three uh, of those fragrances. Um, I just think it's just very popular and the, people like that number one anyway. But this one is a, a great release. Uh, I have lots of friends that wear it uh, and it's awesome. It's a clean experience. Next we go into the house of Lalique and this is Lalique White. Um, the name says it all. It's white, it's pure, it's clean, it's fresh, it's soapy. And um, here we have tamarind and a few other notes. I think there's pettigrain in here as well to create a very, very clean, um, soapy kind of a smell. Whereas it doesn't necessarily go into laundry, whereas these two did. But this one goes very soapy. Um, if you like it soapy and clean, and something that's unique compared to the citruses over and over again, utilizing tamarind. Of course, there's pettigrain in here, so that's the citrus, the leaves. Then check out Lalique's White. I think it's a really great scent. Uh, very, very soapy. Like, when I wear this, I'm just very, very clean. Like, I feel like I'm uh, just recently showered. I don't know if that makes sense. Usually, that's when I wear my fragrance anyway, but then I just re-experience that fresh, clean shower, um, after shower experience. So that's Lalique White. Uh, next, we're going to the house of uh, Laurent Mazon, a very long-lasting fragrance called Aldehex, this one right here. Um, this is all about aldehydes, and if I had more aldehydes fragrances or dominant, aldehydes dominant fragrances, I would have featured them more, but this is pretty much my only aldehyde, aldeh aldehydic fragrance, and I find aldehydes to be very, very clean. If you don't know much about aldehydes, you should check out Chanel Number no. 5, and a lot of the Chanel fragrances use aldehydes, but they use them in addition to other notes, but this one is all about aldehydes, nothing but. It's a very, very clean, soapy, laundry clean smell. Um, 
very clean and musky as well like if you like a clean fresh musk this is definitely one for you to try now one thing i forgot to mention is a lot of these fragrances that i'm do, uh, talking about today are perfect office fragrances if you like them clean and fresh not overwhelming then these are definitely ones for you to try but this one is a it's a beast actually on me it's really really strong and long lasting so this is laura mazone altex right here next we're going to the house of byredo and it's sun dazed this is a recent release and a great one and it's very very soapy and clean um, here we got orange blossom neroli and some uh, green notes and of course some fresh uh, citruses but there's also this weird cotton candy note is it bubblegum or cotton candy i think it's cotton candy in here that kind of throws a curveball and adds a unique twist to the fragrance but otherwise it's all about the citruses and anytime i see neroli or orange blossom in a fragrance Hands down, it's a clean, soapy fragrance. This one is soapy, but it's not as soapy as the other ones that are coming up soon in the list. So this is Sun Dazed from Byredo. That is at number 12. And at number 11, the original soapy fragrance I've had forever. This one I bought when it first came out in 2001. Just, to, just I think it was the summer before 9-11. I think it was, anyway. But I was obsessed with Mugler's Amen before it was called Angel Men and then it became Amen and I got burnt out on it and then when this came out uh, it was a unisex launch it was for men and women and it was fresh and rolly and I just was obsessed with it it doesn't smell like it used to it smells close but it's been redone and this is the newer version anyway but it is the ultra ultimate soapy fragrance utilizing um, uh, neroli orange blossom pedigree white musks and the story was Terry Mugler was in some uh, Moroccan hotel I think they he was uh, using some soap and he loved the smell so much he wanted to recreate it for this and that's what they did so this is Mugler cologne a great soapy clean fragrance I'm going to this side next. I'm going to the house of Penhaligans with Castile. This one right here. I have a video of this one in their other fragrance called Orange Blossom. Check it out. But this is a really, really soapy fragrance. Um, if you like this, you're gonna like this um, a lot. In fact, I didn't feature Neroli Portofino here. Uh, I find that one to be soapy as well and I have it in my collection. I just didn't feel like including it because uh, even though uh, I think it's soapy. Uh, I find a lot of these a little better performing. And of course, I cannot not include this one anyway. But the Castile is really, really nice. It's orange blossom, it's neroli. I think there's some pedigree in there as well for a great, great clean, uh, soapy experience. And the name Castile, uh, is that from a soap? Because I know that there's Castile soap. But to me, I think it's a Spanish thing, a Spanish name. But if you, if you know, please do correct me. But I've heard of Castile soap and uh, people using it to clean up and things like that. So maybe that's what it's after, it's named after. But uh, it doesn't matter. It's a great, great clean soapy fragrance. So check it out, Castile from Penhaligans. Uh, next, we're going to the house of um, L'Artisan Parfumé. And this is Sorla Herb. Very, very clean, soapy uh, fra uh, fragrance. But this one, even though it's got the citruses and the citrus flowers, you've got a little bit of a powdery, like a jasmine powdery touch. And the jasmine powdery touch in here kind of reminds me of the jasmine powdery touch, uh, which is more prominent in uh, Reflection Man uh, Amouage. But here it's uh, lots of citruses. It's really lots of citruses. And then you have this like interesting, uh, like a jasmine floral kind of a powdery touch, which is really, really unique. But it's very, very clean and soapy. Uh, a unique twist between these two uh, and this one, of course, because uh, there's all these unique variations on the Neroli's and the uh, orange blossoms. Anyway, that's Sur La Herbe from L'Artisan Parfumé. I think we're running out of space here. No, I'll put this one here. Next, we're going to the house of MFK, Maison Francis Kirchen, and this is uh, Petite Matin. And this one is so clean. It's, it's a very bright, refreshing, clean, clean uh, f fragrance. And uh, I think uh, Francis Kirchhoff is the, the king of clean. He knows how to do clean. And these two, this one and another one I have coming up, I think are, I found, I find very, very clean as far as uh, fragrances go from his collection. Very, very clean and soapy. And there's also the white musks that he uses. It adds an extra layer of cleanliness. And if you like a clean, check this one out. It smells so sparkly fresh. This is Petite Matin from Maison Francis Kirchhoff. Next, go into the house of Louis Vuitton. And this is uh, Sun Song. This one is so juicy, crisp, and citrusy, and clean, and soapy. I think 
To me, it hints at this one a lot, but a lot more intense. This is a lot cheaper than this. Oh man, it's so good. There is a little bit of that light powdery touch that I pick up in here in here as well, but it's more about the citruses. It's lots of citruses and uh, the neroli in here, and it's just juicy and effervescent and sparkly, shiny, little sunshine, and you could see the juice squeezing out of the citruses. That's how good it is. So this is Sun Song from Louis Vuitton. This next one is a very, very green citrus soap. It's called the uh, Selva do Brazil from Berdu. Now this one, oh man, it's all about pettigrain and pettigrain is the bitter green leaves from the orange tree. And that is very clean and soapy to me. And this has tonka bean and musk in here, I believe, white musk or clean musk. And it is a to die for kind of a fragrance. I absolutely love it. I don't know what it has to do with the connection of Brazil because pettigrain comes from Paraguay. But I don't know, maybe tonka beans come from, uh, from uh, Brazil, but I don't pick up the tonka beans as much as the citruses in here, the, the citrus leaves. But it's really, really great soapy fragrance. If you don't know it, check it out. I love this one. It's absolutely amazing. Next, going back to the house of uh, Maison Francis Kirchen, and this is Aqua Universalis Forte. And this is another great soapy, clean, musky uh, fragrance. Now, this one to me smells like soap and also laundry soap and also laundered sheets and linens and things like that. Uh, it's quite amazing. This is lemons and musk, uh, lots of clean musks in here. And usually clean musks, aldehydes, things like that, give me that laundry detergent, soapy, clean quality. And this one has that. It's, it's quite phenomenal. These two are amazing from this house. My favorite clean uh, citrusy fragrances from this house. And uh, I need to explore some of the others as well. But uh, this is uh, Aqua Universalis Forte from Maison Francis Christian. Now this next one is a newish one for me. It's from the House of Penhaligans once again, and this is uh, a Cousin Flora. Now this one is um, utilizing some of the synthetic notes that are in here, like uh, ambergris and things like that, ambroxan and things like that. But there's a big dose of woody citruses in here, green woody citruses, which gives it a very, very clean um, citrus direction. And I love that about it. Um, it kind of hints at this a little bit, but it's much more potent and stronger and really, really juicy green citruses. Very clean and soapy. I wouldn't mind cleaning up and washing my hands with this uh, smell because this smell is amazing. I mean, it is really, really great scent. Um, I need to explore this fragrance a little more, but it was a recent one that uh, recently uh, picked up and I'm obsessed over the way it smells. So this is Cousin Flora from Penhaligans. This next one is from the house of Akakapa and this is Muccio Bianco. Now this one is so clean and musky. It's clean, it's musky, it's got aldehydes, it's got white musk and very, very uh, just the cleanest, one of the cleanest, that's why it's at number three. It's just such a great clean scent and uh, I, I love it. It doesn't smell like citruses though, it's just clean musks. Lots of clean, white, mossy musks and that's what it's called. It's called Muccio Bianco and amazing. This is a great house that no, not a lot of people talk about but if you like it clean, definitely check this out because I think it's one of the cleanest. That's why it's at number three. It's one of, also one of the cleanest because it's not citruses and typically I, I associate citruses with clean but this one is completely something different. So this is Muccio Bianco from Akakapa. Next, going to the house of Nishane. This is uh, Colonize, this one right here. Wow, this is a really, really clean clean, long-lasting cologne, or the cologne, very, very clean, musky as well, and really, really to die for uh, kind of a scent. I just can't get enough of wearing it. Um, citruses are so important to me in life and in fragrances because I love my citrus fragrances and I also love consuming them. Lemons are up there uh, as my favorite citruses. And this is very lemony, green, uh, you name it. My mom moved to a new house like three, four years ago, and in her backyard she planted all kinds of citrus uh, trees because uh, we just love the citruses and she's you know planted all these different citruses and I love going under them and smelling them they smell great anyway this one is like the citruses come alive but very very clean and musky and a very long-lasting cologne eau de cologne so this is colonize from Nishane please do check it out last but not least we're going with Bergamot 22 for uh, my uh, clean fresh soapy uh, uh, fragrances. Now this is the ultimate in soapy. It's just juicy, but it smells so juicy like it just smells like bergamot's just juiced and you're washing your hands with like a 
a soap of some kind that's like bubbling over with the juice of that bergamot. It's to die for. Amazing scent. A very, very clean uh, fragrance. I, I love it. It's just hands down, as far as smell goes, number one always. I just love the way it smells and it's very, very clean. I'm hearing from a lot of people, performance, performance sucks with this one, but it's summertime. Just overspray the stuff because I love it that way. Anyway, it's Bergamot 22 as my number one clean and soapy fragrance. Anyway, there you have it. Those are my favorite 22 favorite clean and soapy fragrances. Let me know what your favorite clean and soapy fragrances are so I find out and I can add more to do a future list. But let me also know if you like these fragrances or you don't like them. Uh, I'd like to find out. Other than that, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.